Okay, so in the previous one, we had a look at the different types of stresses, and we, s we looked at uh, tensile, compressive, and bulk, and shear, shear stresses, okay, uh, on solids. Now, the question is, or the statement is, let us examine how a fluid responds to these same three types of stresses, tensile compressive, bulk, and shear. So the example they give here is that if you put your hands, imagine those are your hands, inside water, and you bring them together, so like you're about to clap your hands, then you can you can feel that the water is in the same time exerting a force on your hands. But when you remove your hands, um, well, first of all, if you stop uh, applying the force, right, if you stop bringing your hands together, then the force of the water on your hands also disappears. So if if you stop bringing your hands together, the, the force of your hands on the water disappears, which means the force of the water disappears. And at the same time, if you remove your hands, the water doesn't flow back to where it was before you moved your hands. So the conclusion here is water is not elastic in the same way that solid materials are. Okay? So... By us compressing here, uh, by us bringing our hands together, we are considering how fluid responds to a compressive force. Compressive force. Okay, and we'll see that we it it doesn't um, it doesn't behave the same way that a solid behaves. Okay, in the same way, uh, fluids also. Do not behave in the in the way that solids behave when it comes to tensile stresses and shear stresses, okay? And these fluids, which are, uh, for example, water, rubbing alcohol, gasoline, um, are called non-viscous, okay? Because they they cannot they're not elastic, and they cannot support. Tensile stresses, shear stresses, compressive stresses. Okay. However, there is a a liquid uh, such as jelly or tar that can actually uh, resist a shear stress, and these are called viscous uh, liquids. Okay. So the conclusion here is that. Fluid does not respond in the same way to tensile and compressive um, stresses and shear stresses, okay? Because those are the ones that we looked at. But we will look at, the next one we will look at is bulk. How does it behave under a bulk stress?